pulling the tape off now. And, uh, let's hope we have a candy cane when I get done. I think in uh, retrospect, what I probably should have done is just painted the whole pole white and then let it dry and then tape it off and go over with red. Because it's enamel red, you can see it's pretty, I don't know if you can see from there, it's pretty glossy. So I think it, it would have covered up the white, or at best, it would have made it a little pink, which would have been fine. Too late now, so we'll just go with what we got. And it looks like it's working out pretty good. I think Salvador is pretty good. He's just chomping at the bits. Come over here and lick this candy cane. Don't. If you do, I hope you get splinters in your tongue. Big goofy dog. Like some of the white's pulling off, but that's okay. It's not bad. It's not very noticeable. I'm going to leave the legs down here white. Let me adjust the camera here. Since I'm down low now. But I'm going to leave the legs white. I've got them completely covered up with some plastic and tape. Kind of gives it the impression of being in snow. Voila! What do you think? I think it turned out pretty good. Looks like one big giant candy cane. Not bad. Sorry I'm off camera, I had to throw my tape away. Something else I've been working on. idea from another YouTube site but you can probably see the uh, general outline of a Christmas tree so uh, what I did I used this as my the inside and I routed it out uh, went in this is uh, just 2 by 12 stock so 12 inches across 2 inches thick it's not quite 2 inches thick uh, it's about an inch and a half really so basically what I did is I set my router, went different depths because I don't want to burn up my router bits. But I went in like every half inch, um, I'm sorry, quarter inch, 
went in a quarter inch at a time and uh, routed it all the way down to where I left myself a quarter of an inch for the back piece and um, then what I did is I, I had to make my own uh, like a compass like what you used to use in school for doing geometry measuring circles and angles and whatnot. Um, so I had to make my own using a sharpie and an old spindle leg uh, off of an old dining room chair and some tape and I drew another outline about three-fourths of an inch around this and then uh, so that way it gave me the lip and basically what it is it this right here this whole block of wood turns into a Christmas tree candy dish so and it's about inch and a quarter deep um, so plenty of candy and uh, I have a finished one here I'll show you I, I just put some stain on it So this is the finished product. So you can see, same thickness, but I don't know if you can see the angle or not. Let me uh, see what this looks like in the camera here. So you can see it's got pretty good depth to it. It's really light, very sturdy. Uh, I got a couple of router marks in there, but you know what? It's going to be covered in candy, at least until I get a hold of the candy. So I really don't care that it has a couple of marks. You know what? It's unique. I like unique. Anytime something doesn't come out quite like I want it, I call it a very unique uh, piece or it's um, rustic. I like rustic. Everybody likes rustic. So that is my Christmas tree candy dish.